The more videos I make, the more clubs I review and the more comments I read, I realise that many of the things we as golfers complain about are, well, the things we actually yearn for. Take clickbait as a typical example. Everyone complains about it, but I guarantee that a negative headline gets far more clicks than positivity. It's a fact. Same goes for golf clubs. The brands that roll out the marketing campaigns that we say we love to hate are the very brands that sell the most clubs. That's another fact. And the clubs I will show you in today's video are a typical example of being incredibly good, but in my opinion, they are too simple to sell in the numbers they deserve. And by simple, I mean the tech story is not glamorous enough and they aren't in the hands of enough tour players. So the biggest question I have for you in this video is quite simply, why do more and more golfers not use the Mizuno 245? And if I've got that one wrong, then please do let me know in that comment section below, because I firmly believe that many more of us should be giving these a go. The only question comes from Mizuno, and although there are three models in this lineup, it is the 245 that I think should have mass appeal. Question is why? Well, for me, there is a huge standout reason why, but before I reveal that, it's a hollow bodied iron set, which is incredibly popular right now. They stick a bit of tungsten inside the mid to long irons, which helps with launch and ball speed. They have a thin copper layer on the face to further enhance the feel. And the lofts are pretty normal by today's standard, a seven iron is 30 degrees. Another huge positive is you can blend these irons seamlessly with two other models, the 243 and the 241. But the main reason these should be in more golf bags is quite simply, they look so good. Arguably one of the best looking irons ever released in my opinion. A blend of old school blade with a bit of muscle to provide a visual confidence. Minimal markings making this an iron of the ages. These irons make you want to shape the ball, and you can. You feel like a better player than you actually are at times. And what's wrong with a bit of false hope? Sit down, ball. Oh, do you know what? One thing I will never question is just how good Mizuno's feel. We all know that's their thing. When the 245, let's not forget, it's a hollow bodied iron. What I just hit there with the seven iron and that contains tungsten in it. So there's a possibility that you would lose some of that sound and feel in what you wouldn't get in a grain flow forged iron. But that's not the case in the 245s. They do such a good job They've added that layer that I've mentioned about the copper in between the, uh, the face and whatever it does. It just sounds so, so pure. And what they've achieved in the feel and sound is incredible. So the question is, why aren't they in more golf bags? Well, quite simply, if you go back to the original conversation, lack of tour visibility, lack of big tour players names has a huge impact. Also, that marketing campaign is never as big and as glamorous as some of the other brands. And as I said, there's a lot of things that we complain about that we actually buy into. And in my opinion, that isn't going to change anytime soon.